welcome to the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of November 7th, 2022. I'm Katherine Haleko, and I'm here with Nicole Eridix. Hello. And Terry Morrow. Hello. I'm also here with my child in the next room. He's <laughs> intermittently loud, even though he's not supposed to be. Background family noise yes. is what we add to give our, our podcast that, that warm, authentic feel. Do you remember the feel. dog? Do you remember yeah. the yes. <laughs> Aww. I'm sorry, I know. Miss you, Missy. Yeah, Missy. Well, anyway, so just to set the stage, every week we chat about what parents are talking, complaining, and obsessing about right now. This week we're complaining about things that aren't getting done and obsessing about essential items. We also take a couple of breaks for an entertainment discussion and a recommendation roundup. Today we are talking about what we're giving up or hanging on to, Nicole <laughs> has given up her landline. Oh, yes. My. Major. Oh, big deal. <laughs> we actually tried to get rid of our landline, and the phone company was like, like, basically, you're not even paying for it, so. <laughs> okay. <Go. laughs> so, okay, so, like, in all honesty, that's what's happening with us, is that... Mm-hmm. We have our landline and I do have voicemail. So we haven't like cut off the landline, but mm-hmm. I've taken away all the phones oh. that were plugged into the wall. Mm-hmm. I put them away and I'm not, they're not cluttering up my counter space anymore. <laughs> I'm not listening to spam phone calls because that's all we ever got. Yeah. And then I can mm-hmm. still check my voicemail every once in a while if I go online. So there you go. In case we have like a random long lost uncle that wants to give us ninety million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a big step, like, okay, yeah. saying this is it. We're right. not we're not gonna do this anymore. Yeah. I know. I feel yeah. like the the bank has our landline number and mm. so whenever you need like two factor authentic authentication oh. they always want to call the landline so that's like one reason that yeah. we still haven't gotten rid of it okay that makes but sense. we did i did we were getting so many spam calls yeah. and um so i finally called the phone company i was like you fix like this cannot we can't yeah. live like this and so now we have it set that any like unknown number cannot call us oh um like they have to say who they have to display their number uh-huh. um oh. so that helped and and then if the other thing you can do or that i was told we could do is if the number is displayed then you can do star six zero and enter the number and that will say block this number because it seems like the spammers you know they do have some identified numbers and you block them but they have more yeah (laughs) and are you spoof normal numbers lots more numbers yeah and they're doing that with texting too now Mm -hmm. i'm getting all kinds of spammy texts yeah Anyway, well, so that's a whole other one, story. One thing you can do with phones, I don't know if other companies do this like um, our phone company does, but we have it set up so that calls to our landline also ring my cell phone. Mm. So theoretically, I could have no phones. I just would have to have the phone cord plugged into the modem. I don't necessarily have to have phones, which I do for reasons we'll discuss. But So I can use the anti-spam thing on my phone, mm-hmm. you know, the the don't answer callers that aren't on my contacts right. and then mm-hmm. it won't mm-hmm. it won't ring on the landlines either right hmm. so that has been very nice um, and then it goes to the voicemail on my cell phone mm-hmm. so um, I can manage stuff through there and see who is calling and but don't have to talk to them right. so that has been very helpful and and it's also nice because if I'm away from home the call rings on my cell phone mm-hmm. um, but uh, I don't know if that's a normal thing But I've had it for a long time. Yeah. Mm. So then I don't have to control spam different ways for different phones. Right. But I do like the feel of an. If I'm talking on the phone, I'm not all that comfortable talking on the phone on a cell phone. I don't like the glass next to my face. I like Mm -hmm. something a little more ergonomically intended to be put up against an ear, I guess. Yeah. 
Um, so that's one reason. I get that. We, that's one reason we've hung on to the landline phones. Yeah. And also, have I mentioned before, I think I have, that I live with a Luddite. <laughs> <laughs> a dumb use, phone haver. <laughs> wishes to use his flip phone as seldom as possible. So <laughs> he wants there to be phones on tabletops a ringing. And so, <laughs> and so there shall be, because I, you know, I could see a way to not have them, but I kind of like them better too. And my phone mm-hmm. number that I've had forever. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. Do you guys still remember your phone number from when you were growing up? Mm-hmm. Yes. Two three eight five seven eight eight. Don't say it because sometimes you use it for passwords. Well, I don't. No, so. I don't. <laughs> no, also, I think that you did. Um, if you, I didn't gonna... give you the area code. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's look that up. I never do. No, 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 no. Um, I also had my own phone line, like ooh. a princess. It was pretty awesome. Was... What? Yes. Oh my gosh! Aren't Catherine, you special? You were spoiled. I know. I didn't even well, have a phone in my room. Like that I had. Just... I had no my own phone line, and but then. My brother and sister, who are younger than me, they each got cars. So huh? oh. I never got oh. a car. Well. Okay. I don't know, though. Those princess phones are pretty great. Yeah, it was it was great. <laughs> 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 and somehow my best friend, who did not have, you know, her own phone line, we would talk every night at like 10 or 11 p.m. for uh-huh. like an hour. <laughs> And, and it would just be on her regular, like, family phone. She had to sit in the closet or something to get private? She must have. I don't know. Her parents <laughs> didn't mind. So. I could spend hours on the phone, but it was just a family phone. So Yeah. Yeah. I go upstairs to my mom's room because that's where the only other phone in the house was. We had one phone for the whole house. Oh, wow. So maybe that's why my parents were like, yes, give her her own phone. <laughs> <laughs> we like to talk on the phone occasionally also. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, wow. speaking of ergonomics, those old phones that had a handle and a cradle, those those are so easy to talk to. I miss those. Yes. Mm-hmm. They're made to be talked into. Right. You nestle your ear against the one side. And, <sighs> children, I know you have no idea what we're talking about. Phones didn't used to be wireless. I saw a TikTok the other day and it was yeah just a TikTok of somebody like probably in this 80s answering a phone <laughs> and talking on the phone. And it and was that just was the about, whole TikTok? Yeah, but it was old <laughs> school, right? Like this is what it was like. Uh, answer the phone. Um, oh this my is a gosh. historical relic <laughs> yes. on yes. TikTok? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> we are old. Well, you've seen the ones where they try, they show like a a modern teen, a die like a rotary phone, and they just yes are flummoxed. Yes. By it. <laughs> like do not understand what how to make it work. Here? <laughs> that is so sad. <laughs> I bet my 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 kids wouldn't know either. Yeah, I don't think mine would. But it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> it wasn't like when you had to just pick up the receiver and talk to the operator and ask them to connect you to the next hauler. You know, it's. Uh, was it trunk calling? What was that all about? Yeah. Party lines and stuff mm-hmm. like that. It's not mm-hmm. that long ago. <laughs> uh, your little princess phone. We've done away with our cables, yes. too. Was it pink? It wasn't pink. It was, it was green pink. for some it reason. Green. It was like olive green. Oh, nice. I don't know why. No, oh, that was a popular color. This was the, the what year, what? It was like was the mid 80s. Okay. Because 70s liked itself a whole lot of olive green mm-hmm. that decade. Yes. Shag carpet in our house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Appliances. We've wandered off the point here. We did. I tried to bring us back a minute ago. We've done I away am with way off on memory lane. Yeah. See y'all. Have fun talking. Well, oh, it, look, a the, typewriter. the question was, what are you hanging on to? So mm, you're well, still that's... hanging on to your landline <laughs> and so on. And my memory. <laughs> that's right. And your memory. <laughs> Breaking out oh, the children. Yes. <sighs> Well, have you either either of you guys cut the cable? Yeah, Nicole did. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. do not have cable. You are just Ms. I am. You know, efficient woman of the future. Woman of, yeah, woman, <laughs> women, woman of the future. 
Yes, we cut the mm-hmm. cable. We just have streaming services that we pay for like once a month kind of thing, whatever we want. Yeah. So, yes, but we don't watch. We just only watch a couple of handful of, like, we don't watch sports or any woman garden. We just pick a movie yeah. and then that's our entertainment. More and more of the sports is on streaming now, too. Mm-hmm. Right. But yeah. I'm not sure the old westerns are on streaming <laughs> and the old detective shows. Maybe some. Oh, yeah. But... Again, so the old detective the- who likes things the way they've always been. And so, how does he access them? Does he like watch them on demand on cable, or does he record them? Uh, no, we we still have the cable, right? But so, does he watch them? Like, are they no. on a specific time on cable, or does they he? Are, he just he just turns DVR on them. a channel and watches whatever is on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's not an appointment TV kind of guy. He's just like, mm-hmm. he'll flip between a ball game and a Western or an old movie or something. I think there's just certain channels he likes and he will just sit down in front of them. Just whatever's on mm-hmm. them is what Yeah, he's he will watching. go through the, sometimes he goes through the, you know, the big grid of all the stuff that's coming on. And mm-hmm. But I don't think he ever says, oh, at this time I have to sit down and watch this thing. I think it's just, oh, look, 12 episodes of The Fugitive, one after the other. <laughs> I know what I'm doing for about the next 12 hours. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, I don't think he's, he's, he will watch stuff on streamers now, but I don't think he, his heart is there. Yes. I think he enjoys the uh, delightful randomness of just regular plain old vanilla TV. So, well, and it's also like you don't have as much decision fatigue when you. Right. Mm-hmm. just are like i have three channels and whatever's on those three channels well that's yeah. what i'm watching mm-hmm. you don't right. have to spend i mean because if my husband and i are like oh let's watch something it's like <laughs> an, a half an hour at least yeah. until we figure out something yes. that we want to watch we're the same way <laughs> yeah. very much so he's he, and also you watch some stuff on streaming i mean there's stuff i've recommended it to him. he's watched some of the star wars stuff on disney and he's watched he watched a season of uh, a couple of other shows I recommended to him, but the seasons are so short. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, good old fashioned TV. There's like, you know, 32 episodes in a season. And so you got quite a lot of backlog there. This, mm-hmm. it's like, well, I watched six of them and now it's done. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> what do I and do they now? Were all half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so true. Yeah, so. Well, usually those streaming services are pretty good about saying, well, now you're going to watch. Yes, here's something else you might like. And he's, else. you know, flicked through those and just kind of, I think he thinks the whole thing is kind of a little silly. Mm-hmm. I haven't even told him how much we're paying for them all. I mean, ah! he's not, he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like a lot of trouble. I guess even though we do have it all hooked up to our TV set. So it's just like move, maneuvering from one thing to another. Right. Um and he also does, he also does tape stuff mm-hmm. and watch it. So maybe he does that more than I realize, but. Check that DVR, see what's on there. Yeah. Our daughter also records a lot of things that we find distasteful. So she recorded that, <laughs> you know, she likes lifetime movies and uh, reality TV and stuff that sounds really stupid to us. Right. But uh, you know what? Everybody gets to watch what they like. Mm-hmm. That's right. And uh, keep whatever relics of the old ways they like. Does anybody still listen to radio instead of podcasts? <laughs> Have we all cut the radio cord? No, I still listen to it in the car. No. But you listen yeah, to the in radio the car. in the car? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. My daughter does. I don't. I switch between, you know, FM news yeah. and, um, and satellite radio. So that's sort of old time radio and slightly less, slightly more recent radio. <laughs> I used, yeah, I just listen to music on my phone. Mm-hmm. I don't even have the thing where I can hook up, hook it up to the speakers. I just have it like in the little uh, sitting in the, the cup holder, armrest thing next to me, <laughs> right next to me. Hmm. Radio. Well. Listeners, you know what we're hanging on to. Yeah, don't ever turn your back on podcasts, <laughs> no matter what. No matter what they come up with, 
We'll still be here. We'll still be here. <laughs> we will be the princess phone of podcasts, but we will still be here. Don't don't let your head be turned by those fancy ones. All those ones with the celebrities. No, that's not right. You know. Basic, down to earth. Moms talking about really not much. And speaking of which, that's it for today's round one. Tune in tomorrow for our entertainment-themed round two and later in the week to find out what we're complaining about, obsessing about, and recommending right now. We're always interested in what you have to say, so drop us a comment on our website, our Facebook page, or Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. <laughs>